In this episode, we'd like to share with you what each of us bring along in our camera bags so you can be sure that you're well prepared when you start on your next adventure. So here we are, David. We're going to uh, sit down and expose ourselves and, and share with the guests uh, what we take on assignment on, G on Limblad Expeditions. We, we might be putting ourselves out of a job here. Yeah, that's true. We're going to show them all the cool <laughs> stuff that we always travel with. So why don't you start and uh, kick this off? Well, the, obviously the first thing is the, is the camera itself. Um, my choice is this Nikon. Um, this is a great camera in the sense that it's uh, high pixel count. It's uh, 36 yeah. megapixel. I'll, and, take, I'll uh, take the lens uh, cap that, off that, for you. That always <laughs> makes life easier. And uh, that's great for landscapes. It also has the advantage that uh, with a camera of this type, you can always crop as well. Um, so, you know, that means that you possibly don't have to have that super long telephoto lens because you can crop the image down and still keep some quality. Yeah. Uh, how about you? What's the... Well, I travel, choice? you know, when I'm on an expedition, I never know if I'm going to be in a, a situation uh, where I want to shoot stills or shoot just video. So I take along uh, the latest Sony A99, which uh, shoots great stills and also great video. Uh, there's a form factor you have to consider, and I also love my little Sony video camera that uh, shoots okay. great video, great form factor, all the features of video, but also can uh, shoot uh, very high resolution uh, photographs. So that's kind of my package. I take these two, uh, and I normally also take along a, uh, a little camera mic, which is much better than the mics and the sound quality that you're going to get within within the camera itself. So. These little, uh, this is a little road which costs one hundred and fifty dollars. They're really great yeah, little great accessory value. to take yeah. take along and bring along. Yeah, I mean, and, and obviously this camera uh, is really the equivalent of this one. Again, you know, these right. new cameras they all shoot great video and great stills. Yeah. So you kind of got the best of both worlds. And yeah. you know, and I would also use a microphone as well. Um, the other camera which I love to take along mm -hmm. is a very inexpensive but very useful piece of kit. And that's the GoPro. This, yeah. this is actually a GoPro 2. Yeah. There's a newer version out, um, which is even better. Um, it isn't quite sort of standard out of the box. One of the things that I always do is take off the, uh, the bottom bracket here. There's a, a, a sort of must-have accessory, and that's mm -hmm. the tripod adapter. This way, you can put this on any tripod or monopod. Um, you know, it makes it much more easy to mount anywhere. Yeah. So. Well, while you're on that on that subject, we if you're going to travel with a GoPro or any of these cameras we have on the table, we really recommend you bring a really good quality uh, monopod. Is which, that better than a tripod? Well, it's different because this works. You know, you can mount the camera. We're going to show that in future videos. But you can take the camera, mount it on top, and give yourself a really nice support system yeah. for pan shots. And uh, it's lightweight. It, it works really well on the bow of the ship. Uh, by the way, if you're a still photographer and you've got a long lens, this is the, the piece of equipment to bring and not a tripod because there's not a lot of room on the bow of the ship. Yeah, it, must get, it gets a bit crowded with feet and legs, and um, so you know, you're going to be able to fit in and get a shot much easier with but that. But I guess we better talk a little bit about these things. These are memory cards. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't, whatever you do, don't run out of memory or, or batteries is the other thing yeah. to come to uh, during the day. Um, you know, you're out on the adventure, great things start to happen. It's very easy to run out of memory. And the last thing you want to be able to do, or, you know, have happened, is that uh, halfway through the day, you have no memory left, to, you know, so you can't shoot anymore. So definitely, um, whatever you think you need, probably double it. Yeah. And we're recommending, if you're coming on board for our video workshops, to uh, bring a really good laptop yeah. and a really good, uh, maybe a couple of hard drives so that you can put your video footage on there and, and edit on the laptop. Uh, in recent years, we've had a number of guests come on the ship uh, with iPads, and honestly, they're just not going to do the same job we're gonna, we're, that we're going to need from the, uh, the computer and the hard drive. Uh, so that's, that's really a good... Well, there's a couple other items here. Yeah. Um, what, one thing that I always take is... Um, Something you may not have seen before, um, unless you have sort of got into this video field with DSLRs, is a, is a variable ND filter, mm -hmm. um, the variable neutral density, I should say. Um, what that allows you to do is uh, sort of, you know, it's, it's a bit like the aperture ring in a sense. It's, uh, it allows you to alter the amount of light coming into the lens. Uh, it's a great way to work with video because you, we'll, we'll talk about this more later, but you're restricted with um, shutter speeds, so you need to cut down light. 
this this is one of those must-have things that you uh, should have in your kit. You should definitely have UV filters on these lenses. You're going to be uh, out on a boat. There's going to be salt water. You're going to be cleaning the lens quite often. Um, last thing you want to be doing is rubbing salt into the front element of your lens. Right. Or so using, whatever you do, or using a T-shirt on the zodiac. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. So <laughs> definitely a filter of yeah, some yeah, sort yeah. at absolute minimum. Yeah. Um, the other thing which I always bring along is a small tripod. Um, small, great little sturdy. You one call here. that small? Did you feel That's the weight small, of this? Right? Well, <laughs> it's stature is small. Oh, it's it's uh, it's great. <laughs> but I want something that I can put in a backpack or strap on the outside of a backpack and carry easily. And this is great if you're doing long exposures. You know, you want to take that classic shot of a waterfall with a long exposure. You're going to need something yeah. like this. Oh, that's great. That's so, super. Yeah. Okay. I, I think that's uh, I think a we've... good sort of roundup of you know yeah. the must-have items. Right. Um, I think we've probably both got a few other gadgets laying in our. Bags. Yeah, but we're saving that for another video. Yeah. Great. <laughs> We hope this information was helpful. Next, we'll show you some of the other must-have items to make your life easier when out shooting.